In this video, we're going to cover more about processed glass, and particularly, we'll start with coated glass. There are two types of coated glass products. There's offline coatings, to reflective and low-E, and online coatings. The low-E coatings, Gary, is probably the greatest advancement that's ever happened in the glass industry in modern times. I believe, yes, you're correct, Tim. So, you'll discuss later and expand on what low-E low does and how it works. We'll cover that. Online low e, uh, online coatings are what we call pyrolytic coatings. These are made during the manufacture of the flat glass. They're very hard and very durable, but they don't have a lot of performance. They're generally used in residential applications. Offline coatings, on the other hand, are manufactured by the sputtered process, where a thin metallic layer of metal is laid under a vacuum. These coatings provide a wide range of reflective and low-E coatings and are probably the most commonly used in our buildings. They've got higher performance, have they, the sputtered coatings? Much higher performance than the, the pyrolytic coatings. And they're quite amazing that a whole layer of metal must be atom thick laid over the glass. If you apply the glass yet you can still see through it like it's clear. Definitely, it is. It's not just one layer of metal. Some of these coatings can be up to 18 layers thick. We'll cover that a little later. In this photo, we're showing waterfront plate. The glass in waterfront plate is a reflective glass. Low-E glass, which is, as Jim was alluded to, probably the greatest advancement in, in glass coatings, comprise many layers of coatings, with silver being the workhorse. This is the structure of a triple stack low-E coating and has three layers of silver. Silver, how low-E coatings work is by reflecting or redirecting radiant heat or long wave infrared back to the source. So in cold climates, heat is wanting to leave the building, go into the outside. We know this from nature, heat moves to cold. So in a cold climate, heat is wanting to go outside the building. The coating stops that. In warm climates, like where we live in, heat is wanting to come into our buildings. The low air coating stops that. So the low E coating would be on different surfaces of the double glazed unit? It can be, depending on where it can be, depending where you live and best application. In this photo we're showing two buildings in Brisbane, one Williams Street and ABN. They both have low E coatings, but they both look incredibly different. One Williams Street is a very high transmission, low reflectance coating. On the other hand, ABN is a more uh, lower transmission higher reflectance coating. And they look completely different, don't they? They do look different. Low E coatings generally have to go into an insulated glass unit. What is an insulated glass unit? Well, it's two pieces of glass separated by an air space. This air space is dry air, or it can be an inert gas, like argon. In this slide, we show the surface numbers of glass, both single and, and double glazed. This is very important, when, as you talked about before, where coatings are put on. You also mentioned that the coating must go into a the sputter coating must go into an IGU. That's to prevent it from corroding. That is correct because silver wet, so it contains silver, as I said before, and the silver is not durable enough to be exposed, and it will corrode. The same as your silverware at home corrodes, and you need to polish it. Other things we can do with glass is we can curve or bend it into shapes. This can be used to great architectural effect. We can also paint glass by using ceramic frit or ceramic ink. This can be done in two ways. We can screen it, the same as you screen a t-shirt, or we can digitally print it, like on a large format bubble jet printer. Well, what, what you can do with this glass is up to your imagination. It's amazing that you can actually bubble jet print photo like photo quality images on the glass. Yes. It's the whole of the building. Can Each piece of glass can be individually different and make up a full picture. Definitely. It's amazing. Amazing what you can Apple stores have probably been one of the greatest advertisements for glass. What, what they've done, they've showed glass with no frames, I'm going it. It is true form and a testament of what you can do with glass. I have a bit disappointed. The amount of effort that Apple go to to make their hand machined or machine, CNC machined single piece aluminium casings for their MacBooks and they don't exhibit any aluminium in their buildings. That's quite amazing. You've got to remember that the back of it, no one wants to see the back of a, a MacBook. <laughs> That's true. The glass screen's a bit more interesting than the back, isn't it? Definitely. In our next video, we'll discuss the framing.